वेलकम बैक टू सॉलिड वर्क एंड एन सी ट्यूटर यूट्यूब चैनल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू एंड हैव सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन इन दिस सॉइल वर्क शीट मेटल ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कॉर्नर ट्रीटमेंट इन सॉइल वर्क शीट मेटल कॉर्नर ट्रीटमेंट इज सो मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ शीट मेटल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट ऑल द बेसिक टॉपिक्स ऑफ सॉइल वर्क शीट मेटल आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज फ्रॉम देयर so in this tutorial we will learn about the welded joints how to show symbol of weld in the soil work sheet metal what are break corners and what are close corner so let's start first of all we are going to make a simple sketch for the better understanding of all the features like close corner welded corners so we are going to make the simple enclosure Select base flange tab from here. So I have covered all the topics like band alliance, K factors, how to add gauge tables with explanation. Check the link in the description. Select OK from here. And now simply select edge flange and make the flanges like this. So we have made four. edge flanges and you can see that we have four corners here so in the corner tab we have four types of corner treatment like close corner welded corner and break corner or corner trim so we will learn corner relief in our next video and in this video we will cover close corner welded corner and break corner first of all let's see what is close corner so let me explain you that there are different types of welding joints some are butt joints lap joints t joint edge joint and corner joint so basically these joints are used to weld or attach different t sheet metals or corners so if i in the close corner property manager we have two tabs one is face to extend and another is face to match so i will when i will select the one face the other face of the corner will automatically adjust it so in the corner type we have three types of joints like butt joint and overlap joint and underlap overlap and underlap are the types of lap joint so first of all let's see what is butt joint so in the butt joint you can see that two corners are attached side by side and from here you can increase or decrease the gap distance like if i will give the value of 0.02 it is increasing and if i will select the overlap you can see that the one edge is on the upper side of the other edge so this is the lap joint so you can also control the lap joint from here so if i will select the overlap to underlap ratio if i will give the value of 0.5 you can see that the face which is extended is in the center of the face 2 so this is simple overlap and underlap and close corner so you can use these features for your geometry or manufacturing of sheet metal so select okay from here so now we will see what is break corner or corner trim so basically break corner or corner trim is like fillet and chamfer for the sheet metal so break corner is usually used for the sheet metal term so i have selected fillet from here i will simply select the edge and you can see that the corner is break from here and it is in the shape of fillet the fillet radius can be increased from here so this is simple break corner you can change the radius using fillet or chamfers for your sheet metal this is a very basic feature for solid work sheet metal so like this so our all corners have been selected now select okay so you can see that fillet have been added at the sharp edges of our solid work sheet metal So now what we will do is we are going to add the welded joints. So for that go to welded corners. So from here 
we are going to select the face we want to weld so this is the face we want to weld if i will select this face like this so the weld have been generated all along this two joints or two edges so if you want to add fillet you can add the fillet for this welded joint like this you can see that the fillet have been made if i will remove the fillet the corner will be sharp as you can see like this so by using add texture it will show you your uh, geometry or part with the texture of the weld so that you can see that we have welded a joint from here and you can also add the weld symbol from here select okay so like this you can see that you have easily make the welded corner from here with the desired fillet so this was simple welded corner if you want to show the uh, annotation simply go to show feature dimension and go to show reference annotations so it is showing that this is the weld and 0.15 is the radius like this so these terms are so much important if you want to be the solidworks sheet metal designer or if you want to give certification of solidworks sheet metal professional these terms are very important so in the next video we will learn about the corner relief with details so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel